I dated a lot of women, man, um, in my life. I went out with a lot of women, dated a lot of women, smashed a lot of women. Yinka, 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 yinka. Oh, oh, oh. But I learned a lot of women don't like questions. A lot of women don't like questions. They like, um, that's why they get a lot of dumbfounded guys, guys who don't have no opinion, no backbone. Um, you can be smart sometimes, but you can't be smart when it's concerning them. They don't like accountability. They don't like when the spotlight is on them for something that they've done wrong. You know, the spotlight can be on them if it's about beauty, if it's about shaking their cheeks, if it's about praising them. But if the spotlight is on them on something they did wrong, then they, they play victim. That's what I've come across. Most of them play victim when the spotlight is on them, when it's something that they done wrong, when it's cheating. It's always an excuse why they do evil. But it's no excuse when a man do evil, but it's always excuse when they do evil. They, you know, I love women, man. They're beautiful. I love their shapes. I love their cheeks. I love bow-legged women. I love tall women. Women with smooth skin, big eyes, big lips. It don't matter. I like that. I love women. Always did love women. But I just noticed that uh, just because a woman look innocent, I dated a lot of women that look innocent, that, that's terrible. That's straight up the B word. Um, I met a lot of women like that. A lot of, I met a lot of good looking women that smell like boo boo. Um, I let, I met a lot, I've been with a lot, of, I dated some women that have been considered Ugg mugs that um, had some real good boo yammy. Um, I met with a lot, you know, they just don't like questions, you know. I met a lot of good women that I should have married. Um, I met a lot of good women that I should have married. I met a lot of um, women that I should have cut off or that I never should have gave the time to. Um, what I will give, advice that I will give uh, men is that if a woman don't want to be bothered with you and she's acting funny, just let her go. If she do not try to impress a woman, you can initiate a hangout or whatever you want to do. If you want to treat, treat, but don't try to impress. If you want to treat to some food, treat to some food, but don't try to impress. You know what I'm saying? You can show signs that look, a token of interest. Hey, look, let's hang out, I treat, that's on you. Don't try to impress, don't go broke. Don't expect nothing. If you treat her, treat her at your own risk because she might just want the food. But if you wanna take that gamble, take the gamble. Um, Do not let her control you. Do not let her control you at all. Do not let her control you at all. You know, do not let her, um, yeah, don't let her, um, don't show strong, so much strong interest where she think you'll do anything to be with her or be around her. When people think you just itching for to do something, for some reason, people want to do the opposite of, of what you like. If, you know, even if you, even if you a family member or somebody, if they think you want to hang out with them, they won't hang out. That's like evil and cruddy the world is. If they think you want to hang out with them, they won't hang out with you. If they think you want to see them, they won't see you. Most of the people in the world want power of you, but the, the people who don't care the most are the people who people want to be around the most. If they think you really don't care about being around them or you show signs of strong selfishness, for some reason, for some reason, people want to, um, for some reason, people want to, uh, they want to, um, they want to prove something to you when you're selfish. They want to prove, they want your approval when you're selfish. They want your, people want your approval when you're selfish, man, from what, from what I observe. Most people want your approval when you sell. When you show neediness and you show you trying to be friendly and, you know, you got to do that in a different type of way because if you do it in a certain way, 
um, you got to do it and pull back because if you do it too much, too long, people gonna think you weak. But people will admire you. They will, they will, male or female. If you come friendly at first, people, they will, they will greet you. They will appreciate. They will like you for a second. I ain't saying love you. They will like you because the fact that you're showing some interest in them, you're showing that you see something special in them. You know what I'm saying? If you greet people, male or female, like, hey, what's up? You know, with, with a buddy, with a buddy vibe, people will, um, they will like, they will like you a little bit. <clears throat> they will like you. They will show some liking you because they, you're coming at them as if that with a welcome as if they're special and that you acknowledge them, that you showing acknowledgement and acceptance. And people like that. People like when you remember their name and stuff like that. But I remember, but I've dealt with a lot of women and um, um, some of the women I dealt with are evil, crazy. I dealt with crazy women. I dealt with some of the most best women in the world. Um, I've dealt with a lot of great women, man. Um, I, I just didn't know. And one time I was more superficial in looks. I was kind of trying to, you know, go after the highest looks, which everybody do, but I was trying to go at the highest looks I could. You know what I'm saying? And then I messed up on a lot of uh, decent looking women that, that had um, other qualities, you know. And some women I gave chances to that didn't look that good and they blew it. So I'm. I'll tell you more about my experiences with women um, on the next one. This is, this is, um, what I'm going to call it, topic one. This is topic one. <clears throat> so, but yeah, that's what I do, man. I, um, I've been out with a lot of women. You know, we're going to talk more about it on topic two. I'll holler at y'all later. I'm Alan Ray, and I stay prayed up in Jesus' name. Uh, follow me on Instagram and uh, follow me on the Instagram link in the description box. My Instagram is Alan Regionaire Show. On Instagram, we can do a consultation, um, or I can um, introduce you to some of my latest, uh, my latest uh, relationship techniques and uh, products and health products for your hair and your diabetes or natural health products uh, tips and stuff that I've found that work that work for a lot of people. So. If you want some natural hair products and health tips um, about anything, you know, holler at me in the description box and the Instagram and Allery in their show. Hey, so press like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, press uh, like, subscribe, and uh, all my songs and albums and rap songs and everything is in the description box. So if you want to check out my music, you can check out that. Make sure you subscribe to all my YouTube channels. I got millions of videos. So watch as many videos as you like. I got millions of videos. So check that out and uh, check out my songs. Uh, so stay prayed up with Jesus. And my, from my experience, all of this is a spiritual warfare. And uh, we stuck in the middle between uh, demonic an angelic war <clears throat> between uh, a war that's already has been, you know, it's already won. It's already won by God. They just pretty much going through the motions. So, so stay prayed up, man, because God will help you get through that inch that you need to get through. You might need an extra inch to get through, and God will help you with that extra inch. So just when you wonder how am I get through that, you know, and you end up just sliding through the cracks, barely sliding through the cracks, that, but you did it. And that was God helping you because you didn't have to. You didn't have to barely slide through the cracks. You could have missed the mark, but God will help you make the mark even when it looked like you was just about to miss it. So you gotta, you gotta pray, you gotta pray addictively. You gotta pray addictively. If you pray addictively, like you addicted to prayer, man, you know, never take for advantage of prayer, and you'll get through. 
Much love to you, Mallory, and I'm out.